Today's edit race is gonna be a little different than usual. Where normally we have to use the same images and assets, we are now free to use whatever photos we want. Today, we are gonna see who can make the best Jurassic Park poster. Welcome to this brand new episode of Edit Race. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this brand new episode of Edit Race. Like I said, today is a different story and I am too excited to introduce today's artist, Jeff, also known as Seventh Voyage. I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity for this guy and I mean, it doesn't get much better than movies. Jeff is all about them and it reflects onto his work big time. I'm a huge fan of his stuff and together we found a killer concept to let both our skills shine. At the end of this video, we both give our opinions again, so make sure to stick around till then. For today, there are no images we have to use. Like I said, we can literally use any photo or asset we can possibly find to make a Jurassic Park poster, whether it's a stock website like Envato Elements, the sponsor of today's video, or just random places, which is likely when it comes to movies. There is a small number of rules though, so let's go and check these out. As you know, we have to make a dedicated Jurassic Park poster. We have complete freedom to use photos, assets and brushes from the internet. We must include at least the Jurassic Park type logo and the movie poster credits. The aspect ratio of the poster has to be 2 to 3, which is a standard format. And finally, we can only use Photoshop and Lightroom or Camera Raw. And with all that said, let's go ahead and start off this battle.
if I told you there's a place where they have 6,361,747 digital assets ready for use. Oh, and another 50 million stock photos and you can have it all. I mean, that would be the dream, right? Well, no. Because Envato Elements has exactly that. Photoshop layer styles and brushes? Gotcha. Fonts and graphics? Gotcha. Stock video and video templates? Gotcha. Stock photos and 3D elements? Guess what? Gotcha. For digital creators, this is heaven. So make sure to get a subscription today. Only $16 with an annual subscription. Link down below. Then let's continue this adventure. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, first thing I wanna do is thank Benny for having me on the channel. Uh, this was a blast to get the opportunity to make a poster for one of my favorite movies. Uh, and I'm looking at them both side by side right now and I love how we went the complete opposite direction with both of ours. Uh, you did more of the classic kind of movie style or movie poster style and I definitely went with the kind of alternative movie poster style that you see. Uh, mine is 
very dark and moody uh, and you went super bright and uh, warm with yours. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking at it now and it's just, honestly, you killed it with this. The composition is phenomenal. Uh, it does a really, really good job at guiding your eye up throughout the entire poster. So there, there's movement to it. Um, honestly, going with the warm colors was a really, really good idea just because it relates to the mosquito and the amber from Jurassic Park. I'm not sure if you did that on purpose, but if you did, props to you. Uh, but yeah, just the placement of everything is really, really well done. Um, I, I really don't see any like glaring issues with it. I think the only thing I personally would have liked to have seen is maybe where Alan was, uh, maybe like a big T-Rex head up there and maybe move Alan like smaller and off to the right a little bit. Uh, just cause the T-Rex is like such a big part of the movie and of Jurassic Park. Uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Jurassic Park, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Uh, but yeah, that's probably the only thing I, I would have maybe tried to have done differently. Uh, other than that, man, this looks phenomenal. Uh, really, really well done. Uh, love what you did. And again, thank you for having me on the channel. Uh, this was a blast and I hope to be back and I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video. Very well, just like Jeff said, they are complete, and I mean complete opposites in basically every single way. In color, in composition, and the overall sort of style. What I think is interesting is that we both didn't use the standard Jurassic Park logo, which I think is quite fun, actually. But in general, I love how Jeff creates these very strong moods or vibes or whatever. Like, it actually gives you a feeling, you experience it, you're, it's like you're there. In this particular poster, I really love how the rain looks. I think it, it's, it's just beautiful. And his choice of a dynamic composition really helps putting some action into it, which I think looks just fantastic. About the T-Rex instead of Alan, I agree, that would have been cooler. I just couldn't really find good images of a T-Rex, especially not in high resolution. And I mean, in general, I don't like the T-Rex image I used. It's quite generic, actually, but I guess... Uh this is what I had to work with. So, yeah. I think we both did a fantastic job at this, especially because they're so different. That's what this show is made for. Jeff, I want to thank you for participating. I couldn't have done this without you. And uh, happy birthday, because as you guys know, today is his birthday. Maybe you didn't, but now you do. So make sure to comment down below. Happy birthday. He deserves it. Then I guess uh, <laughs> that's it. And there you have it. If you have a favorite, please let us know by voting on the community tab poll I created. So, there is something very different from what we usually do for edit races. If you like this and want more different kinds of edit races, definitely comment about it down below. I myself think it's refreshing to say the least. Don't forget to check out Envalo Elements in the description below and then I guess that is it for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, feel very, very free to subscribe. That would mean the world to me then I hope I'll see you in my next video.